By the way, Shaq, I, I said tonight that uh, you are one of my favorite players, but you don't have what it takes to get to the next level. I said it on purpose. I wanted you to hear it. What do you have to say about that? All right. That's it. <laughs> that's it? All right. That's it. Okay, cool. I, I mean, I wanted you to hear I, it. I've been hearing, well, Shaq, I've been hearing that since my rookie year. You know, I'm just going to get okay, better well, and do what I do. Good. At the end well, of the day. Well, that's what I wanted you to hear you say. Yes, Love sir. your game, brother. Keep it up. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think, you know, in spite of what our candid conversation, you guys are one of the top five players. You obviously couldn't see you playing, playing the game. You know, you guys are one of the top five teams in the, in the, in the league. And when the question was like, I was like, I asked the panel, I was like, can this guy be one of the top five players in the league? And how can he do it? Because these two guys have done it. And the one thing that we were saying is being able to affect the game in rebounding and assist as well as scoring. Because each year you become a more lethal scorer you have each year and that second way then you'll be talked about with these guys with Shaq and and Charles and LeBron's of the world because you're putting your team in position with your offensive uh, repertoire so that's the open conversation that you did not hear that went on got you